Here is how to measure cervical flexion with a goniometer. Cervical flexion involves the movement of inferior facets anteriorly and superiorly on the superior facets of the inferior vertebra. The deep flexors of the neck, such as longus capitis, longus coli, sternocleidomastoid, and scalenes, help to complete this movement. Cervical flexion is restricted by bony, ligamentous, and muscular structures, such as the posterior longitudinal ligament of the spine, the ligamentum flava, ligamentum nuque, and posterior muscles of the cervical region, such as splenius capitis and cervicis, trapezoids, levator scapula, longissimus, and suboccipital triangle. The indications for cervical flexion are forward head posture, complaints of neck or shoulder pain, post-cervical fusion, and complaints of tingling down the arm. The contraindications include spinal surgery or a ruptured disc. Research done by Tusignat and colleagues used a Pearson correlation test to find that goniometry of cervical flexion is clinically valid as compared to radiographic measurements. A study done by Udis and colleagues found that inter-rater reliability was very high for cervical flexion. To measure cervical flexion, you want to have the patient seated with their spine supported in an upright posture. The axis is the external acoustic meatus. The stationary arm will be vertical to the floor and the moving arm is going to be parallel to the plane of the nose. As the patient flexes, the therapist will palpate T1 to determine the end range of cervical flexion. Normal cervical flexion is 40 to 45 degrees. Here is a demonstration of how to measure cervical flexion. Hi, Adriel. My name is Mary Richardson. I'm your physical therapist today. Um, I saw you came in for a little bit of neck pain, is that right? Mm -hmm. yep, yeah, but just kind of hurts. Okay, um, one of the things that I'm interested in measuring is called your cervical flexion. What that is, is just bending your chin towards your chest. And I'm interested in that just because it helps me as we go along in your therapy, assess how you're progressing, if you're improving or not improving, it lets me know what I need to do differently or what I'm doing well. Okay. So, what I need you to do for me is sit back with, um, I guess, a chair with your back supported, um, and then look straight out the horizon for me. Okay, I'm just going to feel here on your neck, and then can I have you tuck your chin towards your chest like I showed you? Okay, you can stop there, you can get back. All right, and I'm gonna have you do that same thing while I measure it. Okay, just let me get my goniometer out. So can I have you bend forward one more time and I'll tell you when to stop. And that's how you measure cervical flexion with a goniometer.